um, have a, a two-year contract with the building, but we actually only have to be given eight weeks' notice to move. So everything that we created in this space was made to be portable um, because everything we created here is an idea um, and a movement, and it's not about the building. So we make sure that everything we created we can take with us. And uh, you're saying that all the councillors came to your opening and you've not had any negative feedback? No, it's been very well received. Um, the councillors very much on board. The yeah, councillors, leader of the council all came to our ground opening and had you know really positive things to say because this is very much community run. Um, and the com we were dictated by what the people in the Guildford community want for their town. <laughs> I was I was planning on being on video if I'm honest. <laughs> no, you're right, you're fine. Um, so how do you use the space? What have you got here? Um, we so this space, which used to be New Look, um, is three stories. Um, and the bottom floor is open to the public every day. And then on the first level we open it um, at night for events, um, like talks and we have an eco cinema. Um, and then the third floor is storage and lockers in the kitchen. Um, and the we are because you know thinking about workshops that you run. So there've been topics. Yeah. So TerraCycle is incredibly engaging. Um, the Guildford Baby Clothes Library has gotten a lot of online engagement. Um, so people can come in. It's a twenty pound retainer that they can get back. They say the age of their child and they are given then a big tub of um, clothes for their baby to use and then when the baby grows out of them you send them back and we give you the next size up. Um, so that's gotten a lot of engagement. The other thing by far is the community fridge. I think that's had actually even more than TerraCycle that our social media just it was shared and shared and shared again because of our location town centre. Um, yeah, it's really getting people um, interested and come in, and it's not just people on the low incomes, it's people wanting to reduce waste. Um, so you found when they come in for the community fridge, you've been able to engage them in lots oh, of Oh, absolutely. Uh, I, I make sure that when, uh, we kind of, we try to greet everyone who comes to the door, understand why they're coming into this space. A lot of people just come in because they saw it and are interested, and then we'll kind of talk and give them a bit of a spiel on why we're here. But if they come in for something specific, for example, TerraCycle for me is, it's kind of the first rung on the ladder. People don't know what to do, but they know that they can recycle. So when they come in for TerraCycle, I then introduce them to the jump which then shows them the six different lifestyle changes they can make within Guildford without really changing their life too much. Um, and it's really about finding the next rung on the ladder for the person you're speaking to. And it is just about that community engagement. Can you? Brilliant. I am either seven or nine trustees for the first year, having our AGM in two weeks, um, where a new, volunteer, or new trustees are now allowed to apply, um, and then they'll be voted in by all of our members. Um, and I think the most, uh, the way our chart is set up, I think the maximum number we're allowed to have is one. Okay. Um, but we have like a host of different uh, trustees from all, uh, with all different um, backgrounds. So we have um, Ben, who is just kind of really involved in networking, and um, Adrian, who's part of the Open Environment, and more of a sentimental background. You know, thinking about workshops that you run, so there have been topics or... Yeah, so TerraCycle is incredibly engaging. Um, the Guildford Baby Clothes Library has gotten a lot of online engagement. Um, so people can come in, it's a £20 retainer that they can get back. They, say the age of their child and they are given then a big tub of um, clothes for their baby to use and then when the baby grows out of them you send them back and we give you the next size up um, so that's gotten a lot of engagement the other thing by far is the community fridge i think that's had actually even more than TerraCycle that our social media just it was shared and shared and shared and again because of our location town center um, yeah, it's really getting people um, interested and come in, and it's not just people on the low incomes, it's people wanting to reduce waste. Um, so you found when they come in for the community fridge, you've been able to engage them in lots oh, of Oh, absolutely. Uh, I, I make sure that when, uh, 
we kind of, we try to greet everyone who comes to the door, understand why they're coming into this space. A lot of people just come in because they saw it and are interested, and then we'll kind of talk and give them a bit of a spiel on why we're here. But if they come in for something specific, for example, TerraCycle for me is, it's kind of the first rung on the ladder. People don't know what to do, but they know that they can recycle. So when they come in for TerraCycle, I then introduce them to the jump which then shows them the six different lifestyle changes they can make within Guildford without really changing their life too much. Um, and it's really about finding the next rung on the ladder for the person you're speaking to. And it is just about that community engagement. Can you? Brilliant. TerraCycle points and they're all labeled on the wall. Yeah. So whenever those buckets get full, we just kind of yeah. dump them in here. When these are full, we take them up and we send them to yeah, Cheryl. Ending soon, that one. It is ending soon, quite a yeah. few of them. So that's one of the things I have to say at the moment. It feels like there are quite a lot of TerraCycle brigades that are coming to an end. I am waiting for a response from the head of communications at TerraCycle. Um, well, I to could try and establish when their stop start is on different brigades. Right. Because it, it sort of feels like to me that because the supermarkets are doing so much now, that they're stopping, stopping. Well, is that because uh, which they, might they, or might not be the case. No, so that's what um, we were told is that because um, these companies pay or oh, yeah. ter ter recycle to to um, yeah recycle for them. Now yeah. that the supermarkets are doing, yeah. they can save money and don't have to use ter recycles, yeah. which is why ter recycles ended the yeah. lines. Um, so take so advantage for the moment. Exactly, <laughs> um, and in mm. in a way, you know, it's good that the supermarkets are stepping yes. up. I hope that they are recycling them well as they should here's do. a little bit of information for you so we've got a lady um who's a circular economy or a week and open and close and then everyone else can um yeah they just learn on the job a lot of them um and yeah engage as much as they can so insulation so the workshops that you've been running yes uh yeah what oh, they, they vary totally um, you're gonna need how to insulate today. your home I know, thank you, love. Um, so um, we do various talks and workshops from so one that we um, we have a gentleman who is kind of like an energy efficiency expert and he comes in and he does various talks on how to like insulate your home how to save your energy bills those are done well um, we did um, a talk the other day about how to um, use your finances for good, um, which was with the head of the London um, Stock, Stock Exchange, which is um, a sustainability expert. Wow. And um, Great fun. We, the, some of the speakers we have are pretty phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. um, and Ben reaches out to people. Um, who so are experts in her. Um, he doesn't, everyone is kind of yeah. has a say in, yeah. you know, you if they have a contact or if somebody comes, walks through the door and says, oh, you know, this is my expertise. And you just, help. do you just promote it through the social media and, and so, newsletter? Well? Uh, up until the moment, we've been using our social media accounts, mainly Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, um, and our newsletter. Uh, which really gets people to our events. Um, we are now taking it up a notch. Um, You're taking it up a notch. Okay. Um, and we are advertising through Visit Surrey, which is a website that is uh, managed by the local council. You can upload events onto that. Um, we've also, part, um, the Experience Guildford have said that they would um, allow us to advertise their events to them. Um, again, so no it's charge. About, it's about, you know, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> so it's about networking. Um, I think part of our um, marketing strategy for 2022 is going to be putting some money into getting the word out there a bit more, um, but not until there are specific reasons to do it. Because at the moment, we have enough football, we have enough engagement with what we're doing, but our, what we want to do now, our next stage, is engaging with demographics that wouldn't necessarily walk through the door. Um, and, you know, having talks in the community, not necessarily in this space, going to them rather than them coming to us. No. Yeah. Um, and that is the next kind of, yeah. that's, a, yeah. a, that's a bigger stage. Yeah. Um, and but something that's in the works for you. Yeah. So what we're, what we're doing, I mean, we, we want to get on the center line. Like,
and this is the Godalming um, Climate Centre, which again has only been here for a few months and they're going to focus on food here particularly because it used to be run as a restaurant and they have a fabulous uh, kitchen area and storage so they'll be running uh, courses in cooking and um, yeah community fridge and stuff like that.